What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. And I'm Curtis. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. And flying moonshot. Special Patreon request from Lauren Wiseheart, longtime supporter of the channel. Make sure you guys fly on over to that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Just hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> Want to do a moonshine thing, but it's just a moonshot thing, but it's just, you know, couldn't find anything clever. No long talk, though. We can jump into this. Um, the last joint we did from them, I had downloaded. Um, what joint was that? Because it was, um, I feel like I had it on repeat, but then I downloaded like 10 other things on top of it. I think it was Rooftop. Rooftop. You was here, right? I don't think I was. It don't sound familiar. <laughs> he was like, mm -hmm. I have to check. <laughs> yeah, it was giving like Maroon Five type vibes last time. So that's a good sound, though. Yeah. Um. No long talk. Then we could jump into this and have a conversation. We are done. <laughs> Well, looks like Wolf two downloads for me. <laughs> Wolf and Moon concepts are so cool. Take us home. Woo! Key change. Right. Prisoner at the moment They're a top three Rock group so far um, Respectfully um, Let me preface this By saying um, Like I showed you The first John Rooftop And then uh, Ironically Moonshot uh, Like y'all on the roof <laughs> Moonshots uh, They were saying the Roof in the music video, So hopefully There's some correlation there I uh, I'm trying to word this In a way y'all understand I guess where my logic Is coming from you know how you're introduced to something and like something could be like kind of cool um, and you might take like a like a third or fourth song to kind of like get in the mix with what's going on. Yeah. Um, they got me from the first song and they just got me even more right with the second song. 
Um, this literally brings me to I keep saying like Maroon Five because they're kind of like one of my like like pop like that pop uh slash like kind of punk rock kind of sound that they would do where it's like obviously it's a that high end band music almost but it, that's but it like good enough for general enough, public yeah 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 to and reach the masses. exactly um it brings me back to that nostalgic area but it's still the instrumentation and everything still sounds fresh and new um the vocalists in here are so talented for sure. um sometimes in uh like you know at least a lot of like the rock groups and stuff that i listen to you'll have like one kind of main voice who kind of seems like they they can carry and kind of do stuff with here it seems like the workload can be distributed to one of three members i think that i heard vocally doing everything and the uh the boy that was rapping uh like i love his cadence and his like his energy and his demeanor and everything too um they seem to have like all visuals. The the instrumentation seem to be like they, you know, I'm assuming since they're like a real band that they do everything themselves and everything. Um, I love the aspect of playing their own instruments and everything. Too. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if these dudes are multi talented. Where you know, instead of just playing like the guitar, I can also do the piano, or I can do the drums, or I can play the bass, or do something. I I wouldn't be surprised, especially with how hard you know what I mean. It's just you have to work to debut and to do stuff. Um, so yeah, I wanted to put you on my mind frame, but with that being said, like this, it, these are two outstanding tracks. I I almost wanted to jump into the live performance. It was a band performance of them doing the same song live. Um, it almost made me want to jump right <laughs> to that, but I'm gonna hold my horses off a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been talking. How you feel, bro? No, that was that was a really great uh, way to sum everything up as well. I definitely feel the same way in regards to everything. Um, as far as like you know how it feels relatable enough to where it could be a general public thing, but it also feels like. Um, you know, just as you had said with the, the punk kind of rock elements. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like it seeing them like play their own instruments. I love the concept behind the video as well. I love uh, the general theme that they're kind of going with here as well. And I really like um, the rap line and especially the vocals that they had. So it's like it, it really hit on all fronts for me. And I was curious if they had either um, if they were like idols, if they had been through like the idol system or anything like that, I'm assuming um, they have. Um, yeah, I, I'll, 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 do, I'll sure. do. I'll do. I'll do the Googles <laughs> because it's. Um, thank you, by the way. Um, because I know the whole aspect of like playing the instruments might mean that you're not able to perform choreo, or mm -hmm. maybe it creates some kind of way where it's like during certain live performances you can have someone else play the instruments and then you do choreo. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was just kind of curious in the aspect of how those uh, sort of things would work, but nonetheless, um, they're they're clearly displaying such um, multifaceted talent, um, you know, in regards to everything else. But um, just a little bit about the, the song and the kind of themes and everything of that matter is um, I really like how everything is talking about essentially like, you know, um, obviously they're playing on the, the whole, you know, man on the moon thing and, and mm -hmm. flying to the moon. Um, but it's like the, the way that they're using that as far as like your, your trauma and basically because you're, you're going to feel like you're stuck in some way. And it's like basically the whole thing with the moon is like, you know, you're kind of on this world, but then there's something so great out there and you just you could see it every day or every night rather, I suppose. But then you have to you know go out and try to achieve it. And it's just about this whole goal setting and kind of what's been able to happen once you achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, I love the fact that they're using the, that kind of metaphor and tying it into, you know, one's trauma, you know, starting with them being literally like stuck in the, um, the bedroom, kind of like hiding away from everyone. They're outside. You see the, you know, the. Um, plethora of cameras I guess following them or like having their eye on them to where it like anything out of your room or out of like that that safe space for you feels like a threat in some way um, and I really like those aspects as well I like um, even when they're actually playing um, the instruments themselves being in the the, um, the funky checkered pattern where it's like the black and the white but it's like the shapes are all mis uh, um, like uneven I suppose but mm -hmm. that's because it, it kind of creates the whole um, the, I forget the artistic name for it basically but it kind of creates the effect of um like a fisheye lens or something where it's like everything is kind of spherical or like um, this shaping in a way. Basically all that to say, it gives kind of a little bit of um, a little bit of atmosphere to the fact that something's off or dystopian or, or kind of, mm -hmm. you know, off kilter in a way, usually use Dutch angles and things to echo that in some regards, but they also, I like the set design too. Gives you that uh, unworldly. Yeah. I, I, where I, you like just know it's not I like how they're 3d and the house is 2d and mm -hmm. it literally creates the, what it does within that dimension is it literally creates them in a, in another world. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Cause if you're going from 2d to 3d, you can't physically see it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the same way we can't, being from 3D to 4D and so on and so forth. 
But I like that they kind of use that because you're using the, the metaphor of your trauma and you're essentially saying if you're in a 2D space and you're 3D, you're meant for something so much bigger, you'd like to step out of that kind of art cycle. So the, the whole art direction thing with that, I, I really loved as well. Um, and then when it got into, you know, um, the vocal runs and everything like that, it just, it really took it to another level. I, I honestly don't think I have a single flaw with this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it, it one just, of those. It, it just hit. It really it, did. It is, yeah. and um, we we talk about this a lot because obviously on the panel everybody has like uh, I'm not gonna say certain go tos with music, yeah. but uh, just even with you, I know sometimes you'll like just the storytelling, the mm -hmm. wordplay, and other yeah. people might go a little bit more into what the production was. Some people might actually just go for what the vibe was or the atmosphere. Absolutely, I mean, music's yeah. meant to meant to make you feel, and it's like mm -hmm. if, you, if you take away a particular feeling and it resonates with you, I mean, that's that's all you need. I think this yeah. works on, like you said, though everything where it. If, if this is a full panel, I think this uh, like kind of hits for everyone almost. Yeah. I think it gives you the complexities of like the that good vibe and that atmospheric like music. Yeah. It also touches on all the good lyrics and concepts like you like. I think the production is God tier. Um, the talent is clearly there with the vocal run and Definitely. just the rap line and them playing the instruments. Um, and from doing everything, I think I looked at them before the last time. Um, they are on, I think, N, uh, FNC label, I think. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, FNC Entertainment, which I think is P One Harmony's label. If I'm not that's mistaken. that's kind of the vibe, or not not the vibe necessarily that I was getting, but that sort of wheelhouse. I, 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 I get suppose. you. Mm -hmm. I know what um, you mean. <laughs> that's interesting. Though. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, yeah, it does look like um. The leader was the main rapper and the okay. vocalist and rhythm, guitar, and, play, and piano he plays. Um, Han, lead guitarist and vocalist. Jay Young's drummer. Hong Sing, main vocalist. Nung Song, vocalist, bassist, and the Machne of the group. Nice. 96 line. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so um yeah so uh yeah without me even looking into it more i would assume that they probably went through almost like the same thing probably not to compare but uh pro probably how uh like um extraordinary heroes um who else we have day uh day six yeah um like, probably like groups like day six groups of that nature um, probably had to go about like the same things, you know what I'm saying? Probably yeah. go through the idol system, but as opposed to doing certain things, you would probably just do the guitar. I wonder then instead of like maybe choreo, would you focus more so like maybe on your instruments or something? Because it's not yeah. like, you know, we've seen any kind of rock group do choreography with anything, which would obviously be hard because you can't have your drummer and other people yeah, like they're gonna throw this shit down. It's a difficult line, and, and just particularly not not to bring up uh, you know the JYP situation, but knowing that they're more heavily focused on choreo in regards to some of their groups, mm -hmm. um, and that they also have a lot of the coin the market, you know that we said. I mean, I obviously take that with a grain of salt, but just to say that they seem to put much more influence on some of the rock elements with groups, mm -hmm. um, or allow the freedom to explore such. But I think that um, because they're so big on choreo. And then also having, you know, groups play their own instruments. I do think it kind of walks an interesting line where it's like, you know, um, do you focus more on that or do you focus more on other elements? Um, but honestly, I think I think they're perfectly fine, you know, just doing what they're doing, playing um, the instruments. If they're able to do any kind of choreo or have, you know, certain performances where maybe an orchestra or some kind of mm -hmm. other, um, it allows for them to have the freedom to explore that. But um, I don't think it's anything that's necessarily like required or anything, but... It's just, I mean, the talent is there for sure. Yeah, it might be um, a little different. <laughs> it, 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 it's an interesting question, though. Yeah, you know, just, just, just kind of thinking about it. And I know, uh, like, obviously they're human beings, and I know sometimes, uh, not us in particular, but people might talk about idols like they're gods, and, uh, and I get it. Um, but I just think, all that to say, I think it really would be hard to do any type of choreography and still try to keep the substance of the music there unless it was literally kind of maybe two steps or like spins or y'all all jump at the same time honestly, maybe things uh, of that nature with the, the sub uh, sub genre i suppose of rock i mean there's a lot more influence on kind of the the vocal like like power notes i would say if that mm -hmm. makes sense mm -hmm. um some of the harder raspier notes that kind of can be um a little bit more taxing i would think so if mm -hmm. you're doing choreo especially intense choreo to those kind of things that i feel like that would be ultimately um more risk factor involved. Um, Fuck around yeah. your voice crack or something. Yeah, like I, 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 I agree with so you. I, I kind of do wonder about those elements as well. But it, it's really fascinating to to kind of think about and explore.
Yeah, I'll tell you what though, this would be a treat for YouTube and me and you and jump into the live performance of this to kind of get a better aspect of nice. um, what's going on. That way, Redeemers, we can kind of double down on this and uh, just have a little bit more in our belt. Saint Nick. Yeah, <laughs> jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all feel about this. Let us know more information on the group. Like I said, the first John Rooftop was a banger for me. It was on repeat, and then since then, I'm not gonna lie. I've Download like 20 other songs Definitely <laughs> gonna throw that in rotation This is getting downloaded And this will get thrown in rotation as well Wanna learn their names Give these boys some more respect Love y'all redeemers We wanna let y'all Peace care.